Yeah, hello, I'm Retro Jules. Do you remember I used to do update videos? Every time an update would come out, I'd be right on it, no matter how late at night, how early in the morning, trying to get a video out for you as quickly as I could to let you know what Wargaming were doing. And then updates got, well, in all honesty, a little bit naff and nothing was really happening. And let's be honest, nothing's really happened for the last year. Update 4.13 is about to come out and if you're gonna get excited about all the bugs and all the issues that you've had with the game are gonna be fixed, then prepare to be disappointed. It's a very lacklustre update, there's really nothing in there, but for me, there are two important points. Two important points that show that Wargaming are listening and they're doing something. And normally, Wargaming plan their material two to three months in advance and we've been banging on about maps and it seems that they've reacted to that fairly quickly so I'll have the the update scrolling up the screen in front of you and you can pause and, and read through it at your leisure there are loads of bug fixes but they're not the bug fixes that you would be looking for just general tweaks to the game but the two important things that I've picked up on they've improved the matchmaker of platoons between the teams so now platoons hopefully should be more evenly matched and not out tiered and the most important thing at the moment for me personally and I don't know how you feel is the rotation of maps there aren't any new maps but they are adjusting the balancing and rotation of the maps we're going to see less of airfield arctic region El Haluf Ensk, Great Wall, Karelia, Malinovka, Muravonka, Pacific Island, Rosini, Redshire, Sacred Valley, Sand River, Severogorsk, Scorpion Pass, and Fikvel Ridge. And we're going to see more of Berlin, Kham, Dukla Pass, El Alamein, Erlenberg, Fisherman's Bay, Fjords, Hilbron. Hidden Village, Highway, Kasserine, Lakeville, Live Oaks, Mines, Mountain Pass, Northwest, Pearl River, Pilsen, Serene Coast, Siegfried Line, South Coast and Swamp. So hopefully these adjustments are going to bring a more even rotation and hopefully we're going to see more of the maps. We're going to see mines at a higher tier as well and hopefully by adjusting them it just doesn't mean we're going to see a whole lot of new maps and then we don't see some other maps. Hopefully this whole map rotation system will just give us an even balance of map rotation. And well that's it for update 4.13. It's not great but it's it shows that Wargaming are listening and well <laughs> i'm already hoping that there'll be more in update 4.14 but it's a good start wargaming have got a lot to do this year to get us ready for the next generation of consoles and this is a good start and they obviously pick up on what we say and we've been saying the maps are getting boring and we'd like some new maps as well well that's the update for you really looking forward to your thoughts down below you know, is this a good start for you? Does this tell you that perhaps Wargaming are listening and what they've addressed so far is like, well, do you know what, that's a good start? Or does this just do nothing for you and you just want to see more sooner? Really looking forward to your comments down below. Keep safe, keep tanking, and I'll see you soon.